asked to be on one of these programs, I'm gonna have to ask her to go first. <laughs> Brandon T. Whitehurst is my pastor. Yeah. I am. Thank God. I am uh, one of his associate ministers, and actually, uh, our minister of music is doing his initial sermon right now. So it starts at five. But I'm not going to leave you. I want to stay and get a rest of the Whenever this is over, I'll leave and go and, and catch him. Um, our scripture has been read. I'd like to thank my, my Aunt Sarah for uh, the invite. Yeah. Uh, my scripture, and I'm sorry to the uh, mistress of ceremony, but I, I was told shield of faith, so I hope I'm not taking anybody's word, but that's, that's where I'm going. Right. Ephesians 6, 16, and I give honor to your pastor as well. Ephesians 6, 16 says, In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. Yes. Up until now, Paul's description of the armor has been limited to items we wear. Uh -huh. We put on the belt. Uh -huh. We put on the breastplate. Yes. We put on the shoes. Yes. They all hold themselves up. Uh -huh. But the shield is different. Uh -huh. Paul tells us that the shield is something we must take up. Uh -huh. It's something that we are required to raise. Uh -huh. Just striping it on our arm won't do anything at all. Uh -huh. And we don't make the effort to hold it up and use it. All right. Come on. You may wonder why the shield is being associated with faith. Oh, well, let me see if I can work that thing out for you. <laughs> you see, a shield guards. Uh -huh. A physical shield protects mm -hmm. and guards us physically, oh, while our faith guards and protects us spiritually. All right. Yes, even in the face of physical trials, mm -hmm. our faith protects us. Uh -huh. You remember when the enemy attacked Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, don't you? Uh -huh. yes, yes. They were able to stand against Nebuchadnezzar yes. because of their unwavering faith. Uh -huh. See, the king had said, every time you hear this music, you won't have to bow down. Uh, but see, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, no, we're not able to do that because we serve a true and a living God. Yeah. We are not going to bow down. Yeah. The king said, well, I'm going to throw you in the fiery furnace. Yeah. And they said, do what you have to do. Yeah. They said, our God is able, well able, yeah. to deliver us yeah. from your fiery furnace. Yeah. But get this, they said, we will still worship, Good. give him praise, yeah. and give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They had unwavering faith. Yeah. Now, a shield also deflects. Uh -huh. Satan is always throwing yeah. fiery darts of fear at us. Yeah. He throws darts of worry. He throws darts of doubt. Yeah. He throws darts of defeat. Yeah. Uh, Be encouraged, though, because the only time they can hit us is when we let our shield of faith yeah. down. Yeah. Think about Peter. Come on. Peter was walking on water. Yeah. He was walking on water with Jesus. And as long as his eyes were on the master, he was able to walk on water. But as soon as he became distracted by the way, he started to sink. When his shield was up and his faith was strong, he was able to do the impossible. Of the enemy came flying in yeah. 
his armor. Yes. And doubt started creeping in. Yes. We must remember to keep our shield of faith yes. up. Yes. Yes. See, faith is a protective barrier yes. between us and the schemes of the devil. Yes. When we have faith mm -hmm. and we take God at his word, yes. we will be protected. Yes. God is not a man that he should lie. Yes. Neither the son of man that he should yes. repent. Right. So whatever he said he will do, oh, he yes. will do. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. In Jeremiah 29 and 11, he says he has plans for us. Yes.
time. Oh.